I was also thinking that between Mike Lindell and Hunter Biden, uh, crack is having a little bit of a comeback here. I think these are people that are tapping into something. Firstly, artists um, are praising Hunter Biden's paintings, right? And then if you think about this, there aren't too many people in the world that can both get away with saying the N-word and calling Asian people yellow, specifically when they're trying to order child prostitutes. There are very few people that can get away with this other than Hunter Biden. So you look at the uh, the success of Mike Lindell here. You look at everything that Hunter Biden can get away with. And I just start thinking, like, maybe I got to try some crack. Like, I mean, these people are ta tapping into some sort of a creative power that I don't have, which just makes me think, like, maybe, you know, it, it's like what they say of uh, the reason that ecstasy cures PTSD is it fires off neurons that you're not always activating and it creates an empathy that you don't always feel. And so very similar to electroshock therapy. You get those areas, of your brain flowing, and then you can start tapping into them in your regular life. But have they run these kind of studies with crack? <laughs> <laughs> maybe there's some sort of hidden creativity in the back recess of your brain where a lot of us, we don't have the confidence to go order underage Asian hookers. We don't think we'll get away with it. Or we don't think, Hey, I should start a pillow company. I know it's an item that no one realized they needed from a new company, but maybe that's where confidence comes from. It's from doing a little crack. So I don't know. What do you think? Shed crack night? Well, we'll just give it a try. <laughs> I, don't know about that. I don't even know how you get a hold of crack. You would know, you would know better than me. So I bet. <laughs> I bet if we tried hard enough, we could track it down. Okay, 